John Osborne here with the FX Education Outlook for September 29th, 2017. Today's the end of the month and the end of the quarter. Monday will start a new quarter and close up the year. 2017. We're going to start out by looking at the dollar Swissy. You can see we've broken through this resistance here, went up and went as high to retest the top of this little bit of a down move here that we've seen on the daily. And that gives us an opportunity potentially for an entry with this pullback here. I just want to feel more comfortable if we can get above that 0.97725. But if we wanted to get in a little bit early, assuming that will break, we can watch this trend line here on the 240. But be careful with these long wicks. It might might indicate that the bears are in control if price moves above that line. With the dollar yen, you can see we had a couple of downward trend lines here, and we are looking to break through this trend line up around the 113 level. You can see we're struggling to move higher. We went through it, came back and went down and made a, a run towards this trend line that we have here and then moved back above it, put in a couple of high wicks and is sitting on that line now. But we're looking pretty bullish and we, we'll watch that one to see if it will continue to go higher. On the bearish side, we've got the Aussie Swissy and it's been interesting that it's pulled back as it has. We, we, we were bullish on this one and reversed that. And now we've come down and actually touch this trend line, this pretty old trend line here. So if this one breaks through here, we could see it drop to this trend line and possibly continue lower. And we are seeing a little bit of indecision at the end of the day here, or the mid middle to the end of the day, as we went through the afternoon hours. For the Aussie US dollar, you can see that that is coming down to sub touch support here at 0.7. 8074. You can see it also here on the weekly and I've drawn in on the 120 minute. You can see how we've got this bit of a trend line here with enough pivot or enough bars following the pivot that validates it but we don't have enough yet to validate a potential entry on the line uh, to break through it yet. So I'm going to color that one yellow but I, I think it might work out especially because we already have it on the 120. For the euro pound you can see we're watching this support at 0.87425 for that to break lower although there seems to be a little bit of effort to try to push push this one higher but look at the bearishness that we've seen on the daily and of course we're already bearish and are breaking through this resist or support line here on the weekly last couple we'll look at is the euro US dollar it's interesting it's come back up to retest this previous pivot here we'll you can see what what happens if it breaks through here we're looking very bearish on our MACD indicator so we can watch to see what happens as we've turned the corner here on our weekly so watch to see what happens if it continues to move up through that 1.18276 or does it actually bounce and come back down again and we could draw a trend line along the bottom here if we wanted to look for a potential breakpoint there. And finally, with the dollar loony, that one went up and retested after bouncing on the 200 bar moving average and has made a run down and backed up to the 200 bar moving average. This is on the weekly. So we are potentially going to be reversing our stance here and moving towards being more bullish. But we'll have to see what happens. For now, it's a little bit mixed. And that'll do it for today. I hope you have a great weekend. And until next time. Have a great rest of your day.